Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show how to take some basic ingredients and turn them into my favorite infused massage balm and we're going to make it even better by putting it in easy applicator tubes. It's smooth and creamy with a nice firmness for spreading, very little residue, easy to apply, and the effects last for hours. Putting our ingredients. For added soothing effect and a pretty scent, I use between 5 to 10 drops lavender essential oil. The amount is based off of how strongly my infusions smell, and this is totally optional. We want to use 1 teaspoon vitamin E oil. This is very good for your skin, and it helps with extending the shelf life of your balm. Now, because some of these ingredients can vary in density based on how it's purchased, I prefer to measure my ingredients by weight. I find it gives more control and therefore a much nicer result. My recipe calls for 85 grams can of coconut oil. This batch was made with AVB, already vaped bud, which is why it's so dark. There isn't much THC left in it, but it's lots of other cannabinoids left behind and it gives a second life from the same med, which, you know, let's save some money, right? If you want to see how I make my can of coconut oil, check out this link for step-by-step -step directions. We also use 85 grams of beeswax. And if you see right here, this is why we're weighing our ingredients. When you compare the beeswax to the coconut oil, it looks like there's way more beeswax, but it's actually the same amount by weight. So if you did this by volume, it would still be a great topical, but you would have a completely different texture than mine. Up next is 42 and a half grams of can of cacao butter. It makes it soft and smooth. This batch I made with Girl Scout cookies. Uh, you can also use not infused, but you know, why? If you want to infuse your cacao butter, I recommend the sous vide method of infusing because it's gentle and easy to control. So if you like to infuse the same way I do, then follow the directions in the can of coconut oil video. The only change in the process is adding a washcloth in between your jars and the bottom of your crock pot. This little trick will keep your cacao butter from searing. And last but not least, you want 42 and a half grams of shea butter. This is going to give it some durability and body for spreading. Once our ingredients are ready to go, we place a double boiler over medium heat and set our beeswax to melt. This is the longest part of the process and it's very important to finish melting the beeswax before adding any other ingredients. Otherwise you end up with little chunks of wax in the final product. While this is happening, I highly recommend pre-warming your pouring tool and prepping your containers. This stuff sets up very quickly, and should you choose to pour straight from your double boiler, remember to wipe the water off the bottom before getting near your containers, as the dripping water is going to contaminate your balm. Once the wax has melted, add everything except the essential oil and allow it to blend. Once that's all melted, remove from the heat, add your essential oil, and pour it into your prepped containers. If it firms up before you finish pouring, don't even worry about it. Just remelt it as many times as you need to, keep the heat low. It's the biggest key there. Allow to rest at room temperature for a minimum of 30 minutes or until cool to the touch. You never want to cool it in the fridge or the freezer. This encourages condensation, which encourages mold, which kills your shelf life. Saving 20 minutes of cooling time to lose months of your shelf life is never worth it. And now that it's cooled, you have a convenient and luxurious infused balm made by you for you. It takes about 30 minutes to kick in and it lasts about 4 to 24 hours based on the potency of your infusions and your personal tolerances. Personally, I use this about two to three times a day. It's my first line of defense for pretty much everything. Pain, inflammation, irritation, non-face skin issues, headaches, arthritis, and sometimes every now and again, just because it feels nice. Topicals are great for many reasons. They very rarely cause a psychoactive response. So if you happen to be THC sensitive, but your system still needs THC to function, you can use topicals to get relief and still live your life your way. It's like shining a spotlight on the areas that need extra support. And it's an easy way to consume cannabinoids when inhalation or eating isn't really an option. 